I'm not really sure if it was like a devil's holiday type of shit. I don't know. I really don't want to curse on my channel. Why do I keep cursing? Why do I keep cursing? It's a devil! I tell you, it's a devil! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today, today, I am doing a story time. Halloween is around the corner, which will be next week, Wednesday. I am literally dying to share this story with you guys. Like my first Halloween experience. It was my very first Halloween in the United States of America. The land of the free, the free of the land, the freedom of speech, the freedom of whatever the frick you can do on the internet and people will judge you regardless. So why not just put it out there? Kind of land that we're in basically. But anyways, let's just get to the story. So basically my story started like when I was, um, I think 10 years old when I came to the United States of America. It was my very first Halloween in America. I didn't even know what Halloween was. You know how when you're a child, it's like Santa, believing in Santa, right? You don't know what the whole aspect of Santa even is or why he's doing these things that he's doing, bringing gifts to kids. It's basically like that for me. I didn't know anything at all about Halloween because we did not celebrate it in Liberia. So I didn't know what the heck Halloween was. So when I actually came to America here, my foster parents, they knew obviously the Americans, they've been here, they've they've witnessed the whole aspect of Halloween, Christmas, Santa, Easter Bunny. We, we don't do that shit in Africa. We're too, we're too poor for that. So for Halloween, my very, very first Halloween, I decided to be a cheerleader, right? A cheerleader, nothing scary. I don't know what the frick was going on. I was just happy. Everybody just dressed up. Nobody told me what everybody else was dressing up as. I just decided to be a cheerleader and my older son decided to be like a witch which was like a little cute costume nothing scary there let me just remind you guys I watched a scary movie prior to the day of Halloween so I already have that terror of fear inside of my heart like Jesus please take the wheel type of thing have you guys seen the movie The Grudge I'm not sure I feel like that's the movie The Grudge hold on I watched that movie and I had that image of that freaking lady in my mind, right? So the day of Halloween, my uh, my foster sister decided to dress up. <laughs> dress up! Nothing. Freaking be a carrot. Like, I don't care. Be a freaking carrot for Halloween. I could really care less. I didn't even know what Halloween was. <sighs> The girl came out, my foster sister came, decided to be a, the grudge for Halloween. I was, to, and her hair was like this. Let me remind you guys, her hair was like this. And one eyeball was peeking out like this. Like, Lord have mercy. I'll never forget that image. My eye freaked out and I literally went underneath the dining room table. The living room table, guys. The living room table. I ran under there and I started crying because I was just so freaking scared. And and then like so fast forward, they were like, oh, okay, let's go to the haunted house. I'm like, okay, first of all, you just scared the shit out of me inside of our own comfort of our home. And now you're telling me to go to your haunted house? No, thank you. I'd rather follow the little kids down the street who are getting some candy, and I'd rather get some free candy. I was so freaking scared. I don't know how to even tell this story. It's like a fuzzy, you know, remembrance of Halloween. Every single year around this year, I just think about how terrified I really was about Halloween. Like literally, I'm, to this day, I'm terrified of Halloween because of, of my first experience in America. Um, I hate Halloween. I really do. I, I'm terrified of Halloween. Since that time period, from the moment I was a cheerleader, every single year after that, I think I was a kitty cat. Um, I was a freaking cat. Like, cats are not that scary. I'll put like a little image somewhere like around here of you and my daughter always i'm always a cat like i literally don't care if you do have a halloween story to, that you would like to share with me guys please or or, or even better how do you guys get over your fear of halloween 
Like, how did you get over your fear of Halloween? Because every single year, I am terrified that when I take my child trick or treating, somebody will sneak up from behind me with a chainsaw in the clown costume. And they will freaking scare me. And it happens every single year. People scare me every single year for Halloween. Like, how do you not get scared? Like, so can you guys please let me know your secrets? How do you, how do you, how did you get over your fear of Halloween? Please let me know below. And if you don't celebrate Halloween, be grateful to God because you don't have anybody scaring you. Like, when you go to go treating on it on the 31st of October every single freaking year. So yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. And if you do like it, give it a fat thumbs up. And I'm sorry, I'm not really dressed up. Um, like I told you guys, I am going to be a cat. Meow. Um, every, <laughs> look, I am every single year. So yeah, hopefully you like this video. And if you do like it, give it a fat thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please make sure to continue to subscribe to my channel. I am new, but watch this African booty stretch I'm making. So thank you so much for watching my video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.